So once you've taken off the front cover, you have clear access to the keypad. Now in order to replace it, you need to be aware that it consists of two parts, just like this. You've got the rubber key as a top layer and a bit of laminated transparent plastic below that. Make sure you do not throw away this because it's essential to the function of the keypad. You are, however, most likely not to replace this part at all and just the keypad itself. Now, if you place a keypad rubber back onto the media packer, make sure that the two pins on the back side of the rubber keypad align with the two holes on the board here. This is to assure the right orientation of the keypad. Just place it back on the keypad, make sure the pins go through the hole and you're done with replacing the keypad yourself.